If Hadi F1 or not on this season, they say this season is boring outside. It should have been 10 times more boring. After the pool party, Kelly Ray brought in the remaining grilled meats into the house. And while he was trying to share it among the housemates, Osi came in asking for one. And when he gave Osi, Osi asked for extra. And Kelly Ray then said no, that if had it been, it, uh, there will be more left, he could have given you. But this one, he wants to make sure it gets to everybody, every housemate. And at that, Osi started asking Kelly Ray, what's the essence of being your friend in this house? And Kelly now told him that you know he has not even taken any meat to tell you that he thinks of you before himself. When Osi then told Kelly Ray that people in a ship when they cook their other pair, their other ship gets like three, four meats. And Kelly Ray was like, Are we in a ship? I'm doing it, me and you, we are not ship now. <laughs> and he said, Yes, even though, but why am I benefiting? And Kelly Ray said, I gave you meat now. Did I give you chicken? I gave you one and a half. And then he asked him, how many did the rest of the housemates get? And he said two. And Osi was like, hey, so what's the difference? So I even got lesser than the housemates. That with you saying you've not even tested any, that he just sees you as a very selfless person, that you just want to be selfless. And Kelly Ray said, honestly, that sometimes you even see that most of the housemates here are not considerate. They don't care about who gets what they don't even care about other housemen they just want to have everything for themselves now let's move to the double o so onyeka when big brother announced that the pool party is over onyeka went and grabbed guinness and so now told her keep this guinness you know we are not allowed to take this particular one into the house and Onyeka was still struggling with suj like let me let me i want to take it in and then ozi had to come into the picture Ozi then told Onyeka that he watched you yesterday serve Big Brother's punishment and you didn't like that punishment. So why are you still doing something that will attract more? That while you were there standing in that uh, hoop loop, he literally had to bring food for you because of the way you were acting, that oh, you don't like the situation you were in. So he was looking after you and here you are grabbing something to bring into the house, not even minding that you just finished, finished serving a punishment yesterday that honestly you're not ready to pay for the consequences of what you just did and at that Onyeka was not even listening <laughs> Onyeka was just telling Ozi to come closer you know that can I eat your beard <laughs> and Ozi was like it's my beard how you know well uh, Onyeka was like you're pushing me come closer let me eat your beard the next thing Onyeka grabbed this guy's beard like with her mouth and was still asking Ozzy oh how do you feel and Ozzy said honestly at this point he doesn't care because everybody knows the friendship I have with you that we are just besties alcohol indeed is a bastard because even as Ozzy was still trying to advise Onyeka Onyeka was still telling Ozzy see Ozzy I have a drink here you know pointing out to <laughs> the Guinness that they had to take off her hand well Ozzy continued advising Onyeka that if she continued to behave this way, she might get another punishment. And anyone she gets moving forward, she deserves it. But Onyeka was not even listening. <laughs> Girl was gone already. Alcohol. <laughs> well, Onyeka kept telling Ozzy, oh, look at my scale. Look at how messed up it is. And Ozzy said, stop focusing on the skirt. At this point, the skirt does not matter. It's not even about the skirt. It's about the person wearing the skirt. You know, I will tell you there is there is only one Onyeka. Don't focus on all those things. We are talking about something more important than that. You know, I can always give you all the compliments because I always tell you the truth. Blah 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 blah. But baby girl was gone already. Well, Ozzy took care of Onyeka by making sure she gets her changed and then brought her to his bed, tucked her in, and even asked her what she wants to eat. Although Onyeka was requ requesting for plantain. But Ozzy could only make do with beans, so he decided to microwave Onyeka's beans, brought her to the bed, and even fed her. Although he was saying he didn't know how to do all that, but he did it with Onyeka, and after which Onyeka dozed off properly. Now, let's go to Ozzy Wani Sean Handy's conversation. So, now, going by uh, Chizaba and Ben's picture that was hanged on the picture stand, and 
Sean Wani Handy trying to guess who knows how many people will be going on a Sunday. And when he said honestly, she's tired of predicting or trying to figure out this show. The more you try to do that, the more Big Brother brings in a new twist. So it's better she just let it flow. And at that, also said that one thing he can bet on is that even if this show ends today, he can bet on the fact that Wani and Handy has embodied the real essence of Big Brother. That in fact, that they changed the dynamics of the season's game with their unique characters, the way they handle things, the way they behave, even with biggest punishments, how they handle it, how they work, everything. That if this show was boring outside, that is, if viewers considered this show boring outside, that if Wani X Handy wasn't on this season, it would be 10 times more boring. <laughs> well, Osi told them right from the game to even the house that they changed a whole lot of things. That they were the first people, the first housemates to go into that kitchen and make food and dish out food. There will be three times the normal portion people have. That he remembers first week, everybody was trying to form prim and proper. People would go into the kitchen, forming healthy living, forming fitness, forming whatever. But the both of you went into that kitchen, cooked three pots of food. You know, everywhere filled up and that changed the game. From there, people start making food and even holding food and even cooking for themselves and their clique. But he can remember that the day the both of you went in there, the both of you cooked for everybody. And honestly, it changed a whole lot for him as well because he remember the week he was head of house with his brother, that they're always the first to go in and it's the last to go in and eat and they would just have little soup left. Meanwhile, there are ingredients in the kitchen bone. When you guys came and did that, people now start going into the kitchen, cooking as as large as party quantity of food. And one year hand, they also thanked him for the compliments, saying that honestly, they are happy they're here because pirates now, they barely even have friends. They don't even care making friends outside of the house. But here they are making real connection, real friends, genuine people that will inspire them because they don't like keeping uh, people that won't inspire them or people they won't aspire to be like. But with this house, they've honestly meet, meet the right people, the right clique, the right kind of you know personality they would have always want to. That this show is a dream come true for them. That is just as if they manifested this whole moment. That they are glad they made a difference. They are glad they're on BB Niger and they are happy. They are living it to the fullest experience, they're having the experience to the full. Meanwhile, before C joined the conversation, they were writing out games. They wanted to play those their concert, concert, truth or their kind of game. But the housemates didn't turn up because someone's half of them are knocked off alcohol now after oc was done gisting or rather should i say after he was done commending the one x handy he then went into the kitchen to make spag and ozi who was also done taking care of onyeka joined him in the kitchen that was where the whole gossip even started happening do well to watch the part two of the after pool party highlights thank you for watching thank you for listening see you in the next video and enjoy the rest of your day Bye. Today, I think of you first. For some reason, you like being selfless. You, like, you, guys are, you guys have been dynamic throughout the 10 weeks.